back to Arc Tutorials. This is Top 50 Agile Interview Questions and Answers. This is the part 3 of the series. If you haven't checked out the first two parts, I'll request you to kindly check it out as you will have continuity in your learning. You can get this entire PPT as ebook free at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Make sure that you download your free copy. Let's get started with part 3, question number 1, which is what are the different types of burn down charts in Agile? A lot of people get confused with this question. They talk about sprint, burn down, burn up chart. But here we are talking about the different types of burn down charts. There are namely four different types of burn down charts. Product burn down chart, sprint burn down chart, release burn down chart and defect burn down chart. We will learn about each one of this in the coming questions but make sure you understand that there are four main important uh, burn down charts which are listed here. The next one is what is a product burn down chart in Agile? Product burn down chart is a type of chart that is used to show story points of each completed sprint so that it depicts the completion of requirements over time. It shows how many of the product goals are being achieved by the team and how much work is remaining. I'll explain this again in context with sprint burn down so stay with me on this. Just know that product burn down will show you the number of story points completed and it will give you an idea about how much product goals are achieved and how much work is pending. Now let's talk about the sprint burn down chart. Sprint burn down chart is a type of chart that is used to show the remaining work of the scrum team in a given particular sprint. That means how much story points are completed in this particular sprint or how much work is still pending. Now what is a release burn down chart? Release burn down chart is a type of chart that is used to show how a team is progressing against the work of a release. Let's say you plan a release and in that you plan that I need to have 20 stories. So this particular burn down chart will show you what how the progress is being made towards to achieve that particular release in completing that particular release that is called as a release burn down chart. Now what is a defect burn down chart? It's a type of chart that is used to show the total number of defects that are being identified, fixed or removed. Now let's say you have 20 defect tickets that you are working out. This particular burn down chart will show how you are closing all those defects over period of time and that is called as a defect burn down chart. Make sure that you understand the difference between all the four different burn down charts. They are very important. They are often asked in the interviews. Now what is refactoring in Agile? <coughs> Modifying code without a change in its functionality to improve the performance is called as refactoring. Let's say you have written a service which is taking let's say 20 milliseconds. But you want to improve the performance by refactoring it but there will be no change in the functionality. That particular process or work is called as refactoring. Often refactoring is done from the text, uh, text stack team uh, in mainly in terms of upgrading the modules, libraries or even better tools for logging etc. These are called tech debt in uh, agile or in sprint basically. One of the questions that is often asked is should we give story points to refactoring tickets? Yes, obviously every work that we do in sprint needs to have story points and so are the refactoring tickets or the stories. Now what are the different agile ceremonies that are involved? Now this is a question that everybody in the scrum team should know. Some of the ceremonies that we conduct are daily stand up meetings, sprint planning meetings, sprint grooming, sprint demos and sprint retro. Now each one of this has its own agenda, has its own uh, motivation in, in sprint. We'll cover them as we progress in the series but know that these are the top five ceremonies that are conducted in a sprint team. Now what is meant by sprint retro meeting? Right. So think of it this way that whenever you as a team whenever you get together and you're working on something and you get together at the end of the sprint to talk about what went well, what did not go well, what needs to improve. Those things are captured in a 
document that is called as your sprint retro document and that meeting is called as sprint retro meeting now what is it what is meant by the term impediment impediment means any obstacle that does not allow a smooth flow of work or results in underperformance of the team in terms of a blocker or an impediment or a technical challenge licensing etc anything that stops your work is called as an impediment in sprint and how do you resolve it the scrum team will raise the request to the um, agile scrum master the scrum master will then bring uh, all the um, concerned parties together and discussion is done in terms of how to resolve or how to move forward what do you mean by sprint planning meeting sprint planning meeting that involves the entire scrum team from product owner to scrum master everybody in the scrum team gathers together to discuss the important features of the product what is there in the product backlog what needs to be prioritized what can be taken up for a given sprint in the sprint planning we go over the tickets understand the work to be done as part of the tickets understand if there are any impediments blockers and then go about the tickets which are ready to start working that's how we take the tickets from the product backlog move them into sprint backlog all right so we will continue this series in part 4 please do get this free ppt ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions please write to me at surya.aradhya@gmail.com please do like share comment on these videos Thank you so much for joining again. I'll see you in the next part.